Hey everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee Chat with Cinder. Okay, I gotta move this back just a little bit. Y'all, it's okay if y'all are up in my address, but man, y'all are up in my address. <laughs> okay, all right, there we go. Now, today, I have some things to review for y'all that are makeup inspired. Well, they're not makeup inspired. They are makeup. What am I saying? So I think these products are very cool and I love them and I want to get right down into it. Okay. Uh, first thing I did is I went on ahead and did my face. Um, if y'all want a list of the products that I use to even out my skin tone and to do my blush and highlighter, um, I'll leave the products in my description box below. I saved my eyes for last because the products that we're going to be trying out are solely for the eyes. This first is the Munge Kit Eye Kit from China and you're going to love it. But rewind just a little bit. Okay, so got this really cool kit, right? And I'm thinking I really want to do something really nice, uh, some kind of really good look with this kit because I just loved the colors. And I've been seeing a little trend on YouTube where uh, other YouTubers will actually try to do other YouTubers' uh, makeup tutorials or anything like that. So I'm going to do that too. All right, we have got. A Wayne, I love Wayne Goss. I think he's great. You're seeing the glow from my tablet right here. Okay. Um, he has a tutorial called The Perfect Eyeshadow Every Time. Since we're doing an eye look, I think we ought to do it. I've already got my lipstick on. Three different products. Just because I wanted to be special today. Okay, now before we start the Wayne Goss tutorial, I want to open this up. I want to see what we've got. I, kind, I saw a picture of it online. Okay, that's the palette. What is that one? This is the eyeliner. Look at the eyeliner packaging. Oh, that is so cute. This is the palette. I like that. Okay. Then we've got extreme extreme engraved eyebrow right there that's the eyebrow pencil and or pen I don't know and then we've got the waterproof mascara supposedly everything is long-lasting and waterproof so I'm gonna love that this is called the pole dense code black mascara so we are definitely gonna get into that okay to start off with let me take care of these brows and I'll be right back. I am back. The eyebrow pencil is not bad, not bad at all. Uh, this is the natural growth and shape of my eyebrows, so I rock that. Now it comes with this spoolie on one end. This end is triangle shaped. Kind of an ash brown pencil so I really do like that the eyeshadow palette of course has your protective film ah the eyeshadow palette looks like this this is gorgeous oh my god I hope it comes out like that on me I mean, I seriously do. They've got colors like Rise Gold, and that's going to be right there. Um, bronze, Dust, Pearl, we're going across, Pearl, Fleshy, Cinnamon, Rose. Second row, starting over here, we've got Cashmere, Glitter, Glow Kit, Tangerine, Amethyst, Ash, and black. Oh my my my. I'm gonna get into so much trouble with this kit. 
Now, okay, Wayne, show us what to do, make big guy. Small. Um, let me get that into focus for you. Pencil brush to do crease work with. So this is the number five brush, which is my brush. So looking straight ahead, I stabilize because I'm old, and I'm starting right here because I know that this is just above the crease of my natural sort of eye. Okay, so this is what he's doing. He's stabilizing the eye like this, and then he's going right above the crease here, so that's what I'm fixing to do now. And I'm using the ash, which is a brown color. Oh my. Okay, don't even get me started talking about the uh, transfer right now. But the pigmentation. Ugh, the pigmentation. I'm liking that. Okay, let's get this one. I guess I could do this. I'm both handed, so what the heck. Well, let's come over here and do this. I don't really tell people that I'm both handed because I don't want them kind of looking at me like, Oh, you are, huh? Show off? Mm, yeah? Is this come some kind of trick for you? No, it's not. Okay, I'm getting them pretty well. I got one higher than the other. What a way to start. I look great. Okay, <laughs> we have a nice big line here, just like he had on his. Okay, back to it. Play. And you want to stop about a third of the way in. Actually, I've gone a little bit far, but it doesn't matter. So this is the so beginning dry. stages. Now what we're going to do is go underneath the eye, so stay right here at the lower lash line. And then drag it all the way in. Oh, this way, okay. And don't worry about it being, you know, too precise yet, because we're going to Thank deal you. with that in a minute. So... Now what you want to do is connect this space. So just connect it really lightly. So this has given us, I can't see a bloody thing. Neither can I. So this has given us the shape. It's actually not because I can't see what I'm doing. Let me just get in a bit closer here. Just so I can join up these two. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to blend. So again, my blending brush. Blending now, brush. you notice here, as I come out here, mm -hmm. it is exactly in line with the end of my brow. Okay. So that's how you get your guideline. And now what I'm going to do okay. is soften this color. And I'm only going to soften it a bit because I want to show you something else, which is quite cool. And you can see it's coming right the way in now that I'm starting to blend. So remember the mantra that what you blend extends. Before I go on, I'm going to take some more of that deeper color. And I'm going to start right here at the lash line. And I'm going to scrub this all along the top part of my eyelid. And again, I don't care if it's not perfectly neat. It doesn't have to be just yet. Okay, so now that that bit's on, we're now going to do Wait a minute, boy. the same brush. Slow down. First thing I gotta do is get it, I'm doing both eyes, you know, he's only doing one. Okay, so here we go. He's scrubbing it along the lash line. I'm scrubbing it along my lash line. I got it all on my lash line. Okay, do the other eye this. Not bad. I am not getting any fallout to speak of either. Is this for real? I think I've got a little I got a little fallout right there from this. Let me get a little. Hmm. 
No fallout. Amen. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, there's a little, but not really. That is pretty cool. All right. Make sure I've got it out like that on this side, too. There we go. Okay, now. Step number two. This, by the way, is my Harley Quinn brush. Literally says, good night. <laughs> on that side. We need to show it already. There it goes. Good night. I love this blender. It's kind of a flat blender. So I, kind of, I do. I kind of like that. Brush. Just blend this to smoke it out. And then we're just going to oh, go back smoking. into the crease. And as you're blending, I want you to now start to think about pulling the eyeshadow up so that it fades into the brow bone area here. So this bit almost starts to sort of bleed into one. And we can add um, shimmer there in a moment. And don't forget, you can blend out underneath the eye as well. Now, what this has done is it's given us space here. So we could put something really light on this and it would give a really kind of cool take on a smoky eye. So what I'm gonna do is just reinforce what I've just done here. So I'm gonna go back in to this crease or this fake crease. I'm gonna go back over this because I just wanna reinforce the intensity and then we'll put something bright and shiny in the middle and maybe something on the brow bone. So just blend it out and then blend the crease out of the lid. And don't worry if you know some of that color starts to transfer onto the lid because it's going to, especially if you've got small eyes, but it's fine. And then make sure, you know, there's barely anything on the brush now, but again, especially with my eye shape, which is quite a small eye. It, eyeshadow looks better if this area here is brought up and then the brow bone is left to be slightly lighter because it gives the illusion in my eye of lifting the eye and making the brow bone area here a bit more prominent. If you want to use something shimmery, you can. I like to be a bit light-handed with shimmer here. And then I just sort of, you know, go in with Okay. So, gotta work in some shimmer on my brow now that I've blended. And he's doing that with something looks like that. So. Hmm. I think I need more on this side. So let me do that first. starting to like it. Yeah, that's better. Now we're more evened up. Now we'll take a little shimmer. I think I'm going to go in with the pearl right there because that's a nice bright white for the shimmer. So let's get that. And he's putting it right in here in this area right there. liking it. I cannot believe how big my eyes look right now. This is kind of weird. These shadows, like I say, this is the first time I've ever tried these shadows, and they're really, really easy to work with and to blend with. I love them. This is really cool. Okay. Now, next step. And blend and it knock off any excess. And now also you could go in a little bit more to really go for it with a bit of a black. Okay. Where's right my pencil? Here at the lash line. Okay, hold on. Let me get my pencil brush. Okay. Now we're going in with black. So I'm going to use a tissue to clean this off a little bit. So we're going in with black. And we're going to do the same, we're going to do the lash line, he says, in black, okay. Remember, sometimes when you're doing makeup, it can look a bit sort of crazy until the eyelashes are on and everything is complete and there's cleanup, so don't panic. So I'm just going to darken that a bit. And we're going to add something really shiny in the center. So I'm going to go for this color here because it's the first one that I picked 
hashtag. Um, and it's Aurora by Matt Glass. And apply in the center of the eye. Okay, let me get the black part done. And then we'll put in the shimmery. And he's kind of softening this a little bit, so I'm doing that now. Dang, I'd walk out of the house like this. I'm serious. This is pretty. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And I'm also noticing that he's working, doing some more blending, more upping like this. So let me get that again. Okay. So he's using something called Aurora. It's a really pretty glittery piece, you know, and, and that's nice and all. So think what I'm going to do is show y'all my other pretty that I'm testing out. Okay? Brace yourselves. The Miskos glitter palette mm, mm, mm. you got it we're doing a triple header let me get some of my coffee okay when I say a glitter palette dears I mean glitter <laughs> every one of these is eye safe, face safe, and I mean, I've swatched them, you know, but I mean, like, hello, just focus on my hand, focus on my hand, come on, that's just barely dabbing into that hot pink color, I mean, oh my god, <laughs> now, it's, you know, in February, we have Mardi Gras season, in October, we have Halloween. These are times when you're more like that and around Christmas are times when you're more likely to really go out with the glitter. I'm a 45 year old lady. You don't see me putting on glitter hardly at all. Okay, just letting y'all know that. I'm mostly doing this to test this out for y'all to let y'all know is this a good palette or not because I'm not the glitter type. Never was. So what I'm going to do first, since he's showing me to put it in the center, I'm going to start off with Glow Kit, which is this really, really pretty gold yellow here. And I'm going to put gold, gold glitter on top of that to really give it an impact. So, of course, I use my ring finger. And I'm scared because I don't want to screw up the eyeliner, right? So let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, going right on top of the eyeliner. Hmm. Kind of subtle. Not exactly what I expected. I expected it to be a little stronger than this. But it's pretty. It's, it's nice. I could actually see myself using this color. It's not overdone. But mostly the reason I'm putting it down is for like a base color for underneath the glitter that I am about to apply to my eyes. You can still see the eyeliner through this gold. Woof! And that's from the same palette. The black is. The black and the brown. From the same palette. Nice! Alright, now, I'm trying to decide, do I want to go in with like the paler gold or the yellow? I'm going with the paler gold, champagne gold. That would be really, really pretty. Not the one right next to the white, but that one right there. <sighs> okay, first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to get a tissue to put underneath. I do not want a bunch of glitter all over my face. I've seen that happen. Never had a glitter palette before, so let's get let's do the newbie thing and protect. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my 
Okay, there is a little right here. That could almost pass for like um, doing your tear duct. But dang, okay. And I don't want it to be out of control, so I did get some of it right there, but that's my fault. There's still plenty on my finger, too. What did I do? <laughs> okay, there'll be a little cleaning up there. Okay, let's put this one in. Let's see. You don't need much of this stuff, I'm telling you. Mm. But perhaps applying it with a brush would be less messy. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to touch this up. And we're back. <laughs> There's still going to be a couple of uh, little pieces of glitter here or there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. But I'm kind of loving that, uh, you know, for a dressy time out. Not for every day, for God's sakes. I just, it's not my style. All right, let's see what else he does. And then with your finger... Just go all the way over, and you're going to go over that black. And that's absolutely fine because you still got it coming mm. through. But you could go back in and I'm reinforce so glad. it if you wanted to. Okay, good. Because I do want to reinforce it. I like the black. This is like a no mess. Uh, a no way to mess it up type of eyeshadow tutorial, let me tell you. Woo! I am living this now. Look at that. Because I'm using the pencil brush and I'm applying it like over the top of the glitter. So of course the glitter is going to show through. But it's still that, are you seeing the difference? And I like to start from this part of my eye forward because my eyes are a touch close together and, and hooded. So I like having the darker stuff out here and I like having it up more. So I want it to be darker here and then get lighter as it comes into my tear duct. Kind of helps to open your eye up too. As if y'all didn't know, right? I mean, how many of y'all are Wayne Goss fans? Probably a ton. I'm, I'm going to be showing this to him. You know, tagging him in it. I hope he watches it. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so I got a little bit on that right there. Not exactly tight lining, but I'm able to get pretty close. There we go. Mmm! Nice, nice. All right, let's see what else he wants us to do. And then you could go back over it again. So you're really getting that kind of smudged in look. Doesn't matter. So now what we need to do is clean up underneath. So I'm going to use a mineral. We did that, right? <laughs> see that? Bomb. So I might as well um, use this. So I'm just going to clean up underneath the eye area, and this will make a big difference to the overall look. And then when we get mascara on, this is why I say sometimes that when you're doing um, eyeshadow work, it can look a bit crazy until it's all complete. There you go. So I've cleaned up underneath the eye with a bit of mineral concealer. Um, I use the Lily Lolo in Nude underneath the eye just to, you know, brighten it. Um, and I've got mascara on, and oh. that completes the look. Okay. So this is just a mascara completes the look. I'm gonna do falsies because, I mean, why not? We got glitter. So I am actually going to go in with the Tartist Pro Cruelty Free Eyelashes, and the kind that I'm going to be using are called 
little black dress and I will also be using the Dynamite Tartus Pro Lash Glue. I'll be right back after I pop these on. But first, God, how could I forget? We've got to put on the eyeliner and the mascara. Yes, yes, I know. I'm, I'm wearing... I dropped something in every video. Huh? <gasps> Where'd it go? Uno momento. <laughs> well, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dark floor, black mascara, bad combination. Okay. But we're here also to test this out. So, we're doing a Wayne Goss. We're amping it up. Oh, wow. This came out of this. I love this packaging. Look at this. Straight from China. I have no idea what's written on it, but it's beautiful. I love their, I love the Chinese characters. I think they're gorgeous. This is called Art Sketches Waterproof Black Eyeliner in Midnight Black. Do you see how tiny that point is? Okay, so I've already got a touch of a wing started. I'm gonna accentuate that a little bit right there. Oh, that stuff is so black. Whew. Nice. And then I'm just going to come in. I'm not going to do the whole eye. I'm going to come in and kind of do a little thin something up to about right there. Yeah, I like that. that that's cool. We're kind of winging this as we go along. I, uh, I'm really liking it though. Let's see, how far out did I go? Okay. Mm -hmm. I like to do my wing a little bit above the, the point of the eye, see? And I don't know why I liked it. Oh God, I did it too thick. Okay, we're gonna be doing that. <sighs> there. That's not bad either, really. Just bigger than I wanted it to be. But heck, we're doing an evening eye, so why not? There we go. They look even to y'all? I think I got them even. Yeah. Okay. There. It kind of blends into the glitter like that, the way I did it. I like that. Anyways, what I was going to tell y'all is I like to put my wing a little bit above the actual corners of my eyes because I want them to give kind of a lift and I think that kind of helps create it. Okay, the mascara. The mascara, hmm, very nice. It comes with very fine bristles. Come on camera. Yeah, there you go. Very fine bristles and looks like it's got some kind of cat some kind of tarantula or spider at the end of it that I really like because I almost have no eyelashes right in here, which is also where I have no eyebrows from having a case of hypothyroidism when I was younger. And yes, it will cause you to lose eyebrows. So that is why I have such puny eyebrows. I never plucked my eyebrows. I always shaved because, oh, figures. Because my mother in her infinite wisdom, thank you, mom. <laughs> she told me, 
She said, don't pluck your eyebrows because you never know when the fads are going to change. Because in the 70s and the 80s, it was all about the Brooke Shields eyebrows, really thick and bushy. Then in the 90s, it was super thin. You never know what it's going to be next. So you definitely need to not pluck. And then that way you can go with the times because all you're doing is shaving. I love that little caterpillar thing. Um, little crab thing that little spider at the end perfect for Halloween come on focus there we go see that I like that because I can get in here like this now we have an awful smudge I'm probably gonna get glitter everywhere so since this is kind of a Halloweeny look definitely a glamour look for night let's see what we can do here Mm, let's see. I am doing a star, I hope. There, how crazy is that, right? <laughs> Not exactly a perfect star I made, but uh, kind of a crazy star. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay, this has become an evolving tutorial. That's what it is, yeah. There. Okay, now the false eyelashes. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> and here we are. The finished look. Ooh, I know what. Let's see if the white glitter can go, because it's pretty opaque. Let's see if that white glitter will look really cool on top of, oh, it wipes off really easy. Mm. We can put that kind of with the other little stars and see if we can make it look cooler than it does and then just a bunch of black freckles. Okay, not super opaque with black dots, but it's kind of like, hey, you check this out, kind of a look. I don't want it to be you know, super wild, but just, you know, a little something there, like that. Oh yeah, kind of like that. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, tryout, product review type thing. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up and a like, and by all means, subscribe, okay? There's going to be more fun to come. I guarantee it. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone, and I love y'all so much. Bye-bye.